Proper use of the rip plow as soil tillage implement. The construction of industrial facilities impacts soil in many ways. The soil may be compacted, less porous, form large dense clumps, and have an altered structure. Several methods are currently being used to till compacted forest soil, including a wide range of teeth, shank spacing, and tooth modifications. Nate Boreal Research is testing the effectiveness of some of these tillage implements for restoring soil structure and hydrological functions of ground severely disturbed by well sites and associated facilities. The rip plow is a tillage implement capable of plowing disturbed soils to a depth of 90 centimeters. It works from the bottom of the profile up with the objective of plowing subsoil while retaining topsoil. Rip plows are designed to be used in pairs in the outside pockets of the multi-shank toolbar. Here are our recommendations on how to best use the rip plow to improve the quality of compacted soil and restore its capacity to grow vegetation. Rip plows should be operated at depths greater than 60 centimeters to increase the closure of adjacent furrows and avoid the mixing of soil layers. The site should be plowed in straight lines whenever possible. The intent is to plow the soil at no more than two passes. The passages need to be as equally spaced as possible to avoid disturbing the plowed soil from previous passes. The first pass of a pair of rip plows covers about 30 to 35 percent of the area being tilled. The second pass generally fractures all of the soil between the first pass furrows. Rip plows should not be in the ground when turning. Rip plow has the capability of plowing across a wide range of soil moisture conditions. When the moisture conditions are wetter, rip plows produce bigger clods because it is more difficult to break moist soil into small pieces. <laughs>